Hello everyone, I'm back to share with you what I've done to this um, doily pocket book that I've made using the uh, decorated doily kit from Luscious Laces. Um, I told you I was going to make some things for inside of it and so just let me show you what I've done. Firstly, I finished off the front cover. I've used some of the small satin roses that were in the little snippet mini doily book kit. I've also used one here. I've put a, a little doily under this flower as well and use the ribbon from that kit on the front there and also a couple of the little blue satin ones and I did tea dye them. I've also put one in the center of this flower and I've used a couple of my own flowers on the front as well and so that's all I've done to the front cover to finish it off. Now let's go inside. And it turned out quite big, as you can see. Okay, so this is our first page here. In the pockets, I have made a couple of booklets, which I will show you in a moment. All I did to finish this page off was add a couple of my own flowers in between. Very pale, so they don't stand out too much, but it kind of gives it that flower garden look. I put some flat back pearls in here and I used the trim from the decorated doily kit. This one here, uh, is it? Yes, I cut these flowers out here and I put them in the center of the doilies. I also cut the centers out of a couple of those flowers and put them in the middle of these ones. And once again, I used the little satin roses. I also used a couple of the uh, little doily pieces as well. Now the first booklet is made out of an, a tea dyed index card. I just stitched roughly around the edge of it and I used part of that beautiful applique trim and put it around the spine of the book and I think it's lovely and this is just a little notebook that I've put together. I've used the trim out of the mini snippet book and made a little tag there. Not a lot of decorating in here, it's just a little notebook but I've put snippets of lace that were leftover pieces and just decorated the pages. Um, the page was ripped so I sewed it together. I've done that a few times before. I kind of like it. Just little snips as well. Another bit of stitching on the page there. And this glue, I'm hoping within 24 hours the shininess disappears. I did use fabric glue. I haven't used fabric glue for such a long time. Um, and I bought myself a new bottle, I think last week. Oh, it's so expensive now. And um, I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure that after 24 hours the shininess disappears. So I really hope so. And just another little tag in the back there. And the tags just have a snippet of uh, that lace going over it and also a just a piece of doily there. Oops. So that's the first booklet. And the second booklet is a little bit different. I've used the doilies that were in the kit to make the cover of the little booklet. I've used this trim and I've just cut it into pieces and placed it around. I put this little flower that was in the mini um, snippet kit there but I took the um, apricot peachy colour flower out of the centre and just put a a flower, see how you can see the flower on the trim there, I took one of those off and put it in the centre there. And so this is just a little notebook once again that's stitched to the cover there. In between there are two pieces of the um, tea dyed paper there. In between both pieces is a piece of fabric that goes through the, the hinge in the centre just to strengthen it and then they're glued together and then stitched. And then once again we just have some snippets that were left over 
and some words have been put on there and my little flower just fell off so I might have to re-glue that one on. I've only recently finished making it but um, I need to move along quickly so this that little notebook and I've just used some words I printed sheets of these words out at the beginning of the year really pretty gentle lovely words they were words of loveliness I thought and I want to try and use them all up before the end of the year so I've popped some in this little book here and that is that little booklet that goes into here so we have two little booklets on that first spread. This is the second one. Maybe we'll take those out while I show you the rest. This is the second page here. I added two of my own flowers to the corner up here. On the front of the belly band, I have the bulb pins that were my own. I have put one of the flowers that I cut out of the trim, one of the doilies, one of the little star shapes that came in a trim as well, a piece of this beautiful applique on the front. I've tied a little bit of tulle that I am faithfully using and that's from Babycraft and tied them both on the front there so they're just little snippets tied in there for future use or you know as a gift however you want to do it. And then in the belly band I made up some snippet trim and these aren't pretty, pretty snippet trims. These are usable snippet trims where you actually cut pieces off and put it on your work. Like if I was making, if I was making a little tag or something, I would cut a little piece off and put it on the top of my, my tag. And it's already made. I don't have to worry about layering it up or anything like that. At the time, I already have some in backup. So there's one. And that's just using all the things that were left over that I was using and then there's also another one and they're not the same they are different in that one there as well so that's what's in the belly band on that page and then lastly we have this page here and the way that I finished that off was just adding some of these lovely um, satin flowers once again in the center of the doily pieces and I thought that's all it really needed another flower garden going on and then in the last two pockets and I do mirror image things it's it just comes naturally to me that way um, and I think it works well in a pocket book uh, I do try sometimes not to mirror image but <laughs> I just go with the flow most of the time so in they're both the same in this first pocket I have a little tag, uh, they were tags that I found at the op shop for 50 cents, nice solid one, I covered them with tea stain paper and just inked around them a little bit. I used this beautiful piece of applique trim to finish it off and then um, used the index card and cut a circle out because it just this lace just left a little pocket there and I thought oh well why not and that little bit there is also part of this trim and then just a bit of that curtaining fabric on the top of it so that's the first little tag that I've made and the second one is also made from an index card using that same trim again I've just put the arch there a couple of the little flowers there and there's a little pocket I just folded over the index card stitched around it and made a pocket and we have a little skinny tag in there with a bit of that lovely applique trim on there and so that they are the things that I've made out of the decorated doily kit and also out of the snippet mini doily book kit. And as you can see, I still have quite a lot left. I've only touched the surface. Oh, and there's tulle. There's tulle on those larger tags as well. I've only, you know, used bits of it. And that's the whole idea of the kit. It's something you can keep going back to and doing more of um, and using it for other projects 
as well you know it, it like there's all bits and pieces in here that are still left so you can always go back to it and make other things but this particular project I don't think I'd be able to close my book if I put too much more in there so I hope you like what I've made using these two kits um, it was a lot of fun as usual gets my creativity going this sort of thing so there we go and um, once again as I said before the sale of these kits goes to helping Annette's daughter with her chemotherapy treatment so um, any help in that regard would be much appreciated by Annette I'm sure so take care everybody and I'll be back with another video in a in in another day I think so <laughs> bye bye and thank you for joining me bye